foreign object damage, or otherwise known as FOD. What is foreign object damage? Aircraft damage or malfunction caused by a foreign object may or may not be ingested can include fuel contamination. FOD program requirements. Prevention of FOD is one of the most essential part of any unit's accident prevention program. Every unit and unit personnel will participate in the FOD program. The FOD program will be in writing an SOP covering FOD is required and a checklist for FOD should be developed. FOD program responsibilities. For commanders, that will be to appoint on orders a FOD officer. Note, the ASO cannot be the FOD officer. Commander will also appoint on orders a FOD NCO. Integrate FOD into the commander's accident prevention program. And the commander must have FOD discussed at every unit safety meeting. The ASO monitors, not manages, the FOD program. FOD officer. The FOD officer manages the unit FOD program as well as delegates areas of responsibility. The FOD officer also conducts FOD surveys and is a member of the Unit Safety Council. The FOD NCO. The FOD NCO will assist with the duties of the FOD officer and is a member in the Unit Enlisted Safety Council and at a minimum will check FOD containers weekly to ensure the FOD containers are not overflowing or being misused. As was mentioned in the previous slide, all unit personnel will actively participate in unit FOD prevention. They will also perform required maintenance in accordance with the proper technical manual or TM. When performing maintenance by the book, personnel should be sure to cover any open lines or ports to ensure FOD does not play a factor. Also, all tools will be accounted for at the end of each maintenance operation and all tools should be marked. AR 3D5-40 states, for FOD action reporting is standard unless damage is incurred solely from the flying debris during operations in confined areas and unapproved landing sites. This is considered fair wear and tear and for accident reporting purposes no cost is associated with the damage. AR 3D5-40 also states, for fought action reporting is standard unless aircraft damage other than engine is discovered during scheduled maintenance is not included in accident cost. Air 3D5-40 states for class F, reportable incidents confined to aircraft turbine engine damage, not APUs, as a result of internal or external fog where that is the only damage, these incidents will be reported using DA Form 2397-AB-R. TM 1-1500-204-23-1 states covering fraud prevention procedures that regularly police parking areas, runways, taxiways, and run-up exhaust areas. Special attention shall be given to cleaning of cracks and expansion seams on flight ramps. Also, periodically instruct personnel concerned with aircraft maintenance on foreign object hazards. For aircraft on the flight line, personnel need to ensure that air inlets and exhaust covers are installed unless the engine will be operated immediately after shutdown. All receptacles will be properly marked in every work area where trash, fares, and non fare scrap, safety wire, and other items may be placed so as to not further a FOD issue. Some of the common problems with FOD prevention are correcting operating errors instead of systemic defects, by not documenting on the spot corrections, 
the ASO can't see trends and find system defects. Inadequate supervision. Get everyone, especially the commander, involved. Inadequate equipment. No FOD cams available. FOD cams on flight line contributing to the FOD problem. Overflowing FOD cams or trash cans on flight line or in the hangar. And no self closing lid. And remember, you see FOD, you pick it up. Tool issues can and are a huge FOD problem when doing aircraft maintenance or vehicle maintenance. Tool inventory not conducted at the end of each maintenance period can cause a FOD problem, as well as broken tools, unauthorized tools, or necessary tools not available. Flight line FOD prevention. Trash dumpsters should not be kept on flight line. Dunnage, plywood sheets, and loose items should not be stored on flight line. Develop methods to secure inlet covers, tie downs, etc. from blowing loose in high winds. Note, trash and loose items should not be kept in gators, on tractors, tugs, or any other vehicle on the flight line while unattended. Fog prevention in the FART. Water detection aqua glow test should be performed daily. The fuel nozzle cap installed and hung on grounding rod. Water wash and dew spot. Be sure any fog or loose items are picked up and policed before operations are conducted in the FARC. FOD prevention in the FARC. Conduct FOD sweep of FARC. FOD cans with lids. Cans and lids must be secured. Account for tools and components. Foil tape, pins, clips, etc. FOD prevention techniques. Police as you go. Continually to pick up FOD and pieces of trash throughout your maintenance procedures. Conduct FOD walks on a weekly basis. Put FOD in work area on a bulletin board. Small pieces can be put in a plastic bag to display what FOD has been found in your work area. Other FOD prevention techniques. Display actual FOD at safety meetings. Ensure FOD is an area of interest during all safety surveys. And caution personnel who work on aircraft to not wear boots with mud, and or snow on the soles. And remember, please take FOD and maintenance procedures seriously.